looks like you you know moved on pretty well from the Fresno loss there in the first half. It seemed like you guys were pretty aggressive on the offensive end. Was that a little bit of the mindset coming in today that you guys wanted to kind of play aggressively on that end? Um, not really aggressive. You know, I mean, kind of just our game. You know, uh, getting everybody involved. You know, shooting the open shot whenever we see a lane we drive. Um, we were just taking what the defense was giving us, and you know, we were making shots. Getting, yeah, we were getting back to more moving the ball around, making the defense work and getting great shots instead of settling for some early ones, you know. What about defensively, guys? I think you forced, uh, I think it was 11 turnovers in the first half or some, mm-hmm. or 11 points off turnovers. I mean, was this maybe perhaps maybe one of the best defensive games you guys have played, at least in conference play, maybe maybe even all season? Um, yeah, I would, I would say it was it was a really good game for us defensively is what we always, um, you know, talk about and strive to do every game in terms of, just, just having energy and talking. When we have energy and talk, and, um, and we talk, we can be a great defensive team. So the, um, the goal is now to just do it night in and, and night out. You know, now that we know we can do it, you know, it's that's the that's the level now, and we should be keeping that up every every game. Well, Kate, we talked about you know inconsistencies from half to half lately with this team. You guys put two great halves together. You know, uh, how that feel to be able to put forty minutes of basketball together? Uh, yeah, that, that feels really good. Um, and to just sustain, like you said, in that second half, sustain what we were doing um, in the first half. Uh, I think we just, that's just our part of our growth, and uh, I think we need to continue to build off that. And uh, we realized that at halftime, you said, all right, you know, last time at Utah State, they came back fired in the second half. So we really uh, came together and said, let's let's do the same thing we are doing in the first half, even better. So. You guys didn't give up any big runs tonight like you had. Was that something that got talked about at all? Uh, the focus was, you know, going into every timeout and every huddle was just continue to stay locked in on the game plan. Um, and defensively, yeah. Yeah, because uh, whenever there is, you know, we're down by 15 or we're up by 15, you know, uh, some teams can, you know, linger away from what they what they did to get, give them that, you know. So the coach is just harping on the things that we need, like that we were doing good and just continue to follow the game plan. That's what we did. You know, defensively, you know, now you said, you know, it was energy and, and talking. Was there anything else you guys did specifically against them? Because you were pretty effective, especially for some turnovers in the first half. Did, did you guys try anything different on them to, to force those? Uh, I mean, not really. Um, I mean, we were playing our three defense, and our three defense is ma- uh, based on aggression, you know, um, kind of. Uh, speed them up. Yeah, speed them up, kind of take risks, you know, um, <laughs> and, and, and we succeeded. Um, the pressure was up. It was a great job by Nye and Cody. Um, frustrating uh, Kobe, um, number one on their team. He's a great player, um, but they, they did a great job of guarding them, you know, making them frustrated, um, and, you know, the team would just have their back. Yeah, I was going to say, bring that up with McEwen and Merrill. I mean, they did so good uh, this year. What did you do defensively? Was it just trying to be as aggressive as possible with, with those guys? Um, basically, basically just, just being being ourselves and um, knowing, knowing what we do good on, on defense, and I know a lot of – you know, offensive players don't don't really like when people are up pressuring and um, running them off, and they like to be comfortable. So that was our main thing: pressure. Um, make sure we're always, you know, on edge, looking, talking, um, and so we could we could be ready for whatever. So mainly the the energy piece was was the was the big thing today. Well, you've been, I mean, again, you played all season, but going back to last week at CSU, and even in the Fresno, <coughs> game, playing more minutes, more role, just. Becoming more comfortable, just things starting to click for you, more confident. Any anything happening there over these last few games that's really clicked for you? Um, just just understanding what the what the team needs from me, and um, going out there and trying to execute exactly that, um, and just just being a team player, having a good attitude, being a, being a good leader, and just controlling um, everything I can control, and then just not worrying about mistakes, misses, just letting everything else take care of itself. You know, Coach Edwards has talked about wanting to see maybe a little more energy from you when, like, in game settings, as maybe the energy from practice. I guess HD and JJ did, you, did it seem like a lot, you know, out there tonight that Nia kind of brought yeah, for some sure. energy. Yeah, yeah, like I said before, him and Cody did a great job guarding um, number one, especially when we were in our zone. Um, you know, they start off the, the aggression, um, and the team just follows the bet on, you know, has their bet. You know, it's a great job by them. You know, we'll keep it going. You know, plays, hopefully, plays some defense that even helps. What are your thoughts? I know you're just getting done with this one, but you go to UNLV. I know that's been a tough place for this team to play over the years. Mm-hmm. Just, just what are your early thoughts on UNLV and kind of going on a little mini road trip here for the next uh, uh, few They're days. a good team. Um, you know, we feel like we can beat anybody. So if we don't go in there, we'll get a win. Yeah. Obviously, got, got a guy with some NBA hype around him and stuff. Is it fun when you get to go up against guys like that, like I mean, McCoy? Or? Not really. <laughs> we, we don't really worry about that kind of thing. I mean, I, I mean, I 
and maybe ACL see as a, you know as, as a competition mm-hmm. again, I guess. But I mean, we just trying to win games. Do you think Caden? Do you know much about the McCoy kid? Is that something uh, you're looking forward to or anything? Uh, I don't. I honestly don't know anything about. I haven't heard any much about him. So I, yeah, we're just focused on what the coaches give us in the scout, and we'll be ready for him. Are you looking forward to scoring one point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't realize until Coach pulled me aside there at the end. He said, you're three away, but I'm going to take you out. Like, oh. But, yeah, it, it's all right. Um, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. It'll come. You know, that's just part of uh, playing on this team. Uh, it, it's just a fun thing and, you know, uh, just another milestone for me. But it's mainly, I don't care too much about that. It's mainly about the team. So. Is it pretty cool to have three guys on the same squad with 1,000 points in yeah, their career? Sure. Yeah, yeah. We can play. <laughs> <laughs> Share the ball. <laughs> <laughs>